Hi, Troy with Tsunami Compressed Air Solutions. Today I want to talk about plumbing and optimal air system. Uh, in most facilities you have some form of header pipe running throughout your shop. Optimally when you're plumbing your header pipe you want to have what's called a loop system. Uh, so coming off of your compressor tank is going to be a main line and then you will encapsulate a circuit around the entire facility like a loop. That way, no matter where you're pulling air from around the different legs off that header pipe, you're gonna have equal volume and pressure to those various drops. When you have what's called a dead stick system to where it just ends at the end of the facility, air consumption closer to the compressor is going to take the higher demand. And so if you're doing some critical work at the end of the line, it's possible that you may experience pressure and volume uh, complications due to upstream usage. So a loop system is an optimal way to plumb it. Um, in a lot of the air systems, you wanna make sure that when you're plumbing your header pipe, that it will taper away from the compressor. You wanna average about an inch drop every 10 to 12 feet. Uh, if you can't sacrifice that much drop throughout your facility, depending on its length, uh, if you average a half inch per 10 to 12 feet is, is more than acceptable. Uh, I wanna talk a little bit about um, what's called a drip leg. So as you have air traveling through this header pipe, moisture is going to be condensing out of it unless you have a really high end quality dryer up by the compressor. And even then you could still experience some moisture forming in the air system. So as that water's traveling downstream uh, to the air drops, you want to install what's called a drip leg. So that water is going to want to fall down and go down to the bottom of this drip leg. And normally at the bottom of a drip leg, you're going to find some sort of drain, whether it be a ball valve, or a drain cock like this. Uh, and a lot of times they're gonna have a T. And coming off of that T in a lot of facilities, they're either gonna have a, a uh, low cost particulate filter that's plumbed right here and coming off of here is where they're gonna have their spray hose. And then the other is very common. They just put an air coupler here. And they take their air hose and they connect and then they use the air. The big problem with that is you, in your drip leg, you are wanting to remove water. So if I have an air tool or some application, a machine pulling air off of this same drip leg, that water that's collecting here is just going to end up going downstream. And so that's a real problem. So what you want to do is use a drip leg for what it is and actually make it a drain. So best practice, is to install some form of automatic drain at the bottom of your drip leg. We recommend an electronic drain. It's something you can set to go off every half hour to 45 minutes, depending. You want this electronic drain to be open for maybe a half a second or more. You plumb that drain in, you plug the cord into an outlet, and away you go. If I needed an airdrop nearby, what I wanna do is I wanna tee into the air main header pipe and then I want to utilize technology, what's called a riser pipe. So I want about a six inch riser pipe coming up and then I want to go over and then bring my air drop down. And the reason for that is any of that water that happens to escape past this drip leg is going to have a very hard time being pulled upstream with the air. Uh, and its tendency is going to want to continue migrating down and hopefully you've got a drip leg further down that air system. So now we have no water going down this air system uh, line. And then from this point is where we're gonna want to install some form of filter or tie it into the machine um, and go that route. And that's the real advantage of using a riser pipe design when it comes to plumbing your air system and using the drip legs for what they are is to capture water and then to have it removed from your air system. If you have any questions, check us out online at www.tsunami.us.com or give one of our technical experts a call at 800-782-5752.